I've spent the last two years spending over $300,000 on Google Ads. And in this video today, I'm going to show you step by step how to run Google Ads for your roofing business. So if you're looking to scale your roofing business here, the first and most important and crucial step that is overlooked is to create a Gmail account to be able to run Google Ads. But once we're from here, we're gonna dive in right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to create and create a campaign. So now once we're into creating a campaign, the first thing that we need to realize is what is our campaign objective? So the thing here is we're not here to drive any e-commerce stores and get sales. Our goal for your roofing business is to get leads. And that's the first thing that we want to tick. Now, once we hit that tick button here, you're gonna see a conversion goal to improve leads. This is gonna depend if you already create an account. You probably have a submit lead form. I wouldn't worry about this too much if you guys don't have the show. All you're gonna do is press continue here. So now the second thing we're gonna focus on is how and what type of cam team do we need? So the second thing we wanna do is select the search. We wanna make sure that we have a search. When people look or Google search our name or our company or whether they need a roofing business to, you know, for their house and need some repairs done, you wanna press search. Now, our goal is to make sure that we wanna collect as much website visits, phone calls, and lead form submissions. So I'm just gonna go on a Google tab here and I'm just gonna type a roofing company near me and I'm just gonna use their company as an example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down and find you know what company out there is I can use for a quick one here. So let's just say, let's just say roof company near me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select economy roofing Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do is just gonna copy their website here. So this is gonna, everything you're gonna do is put the website down like so. Then we're gonna find their phone number here. So we see they have phone number here and we're gonna paste that. And for the campaign name, we're gonna leave it very simple. So we're, since it's called Economy Roofing, and then I just do Santa Monica as the location here and keep it very simple as possible which one you're targeting for your roofing company here, okay? Once that's done, all you're gonna do is press hit the continue button here. And since I've uh, created some drafts here, this is not necessary for you guys since these are other ones that I've done before. All we're gonna do is press start a new campaign here. So now, as we head to the bidding option here, this is where we, especially if you are just starting and creating your new Google Ads account here, the first thing that we wanna do is go for clicks and, you know, the biggest thing, the reason why I say for clicks is because we want to, we can't really aim for conversion just yet because there's no data. So at this minute, any time here, it doesn't really matter what you choose. What you choose, we can just leave as conversion. As for right now, we will change it towards the end once we publish everything. And that way it will change our settings from here. But I would just leave as conversion here. Um, we do not need to take any set a target cost for our action or bid for new customers, right? Our goal is not to get any target cost per action at this time or anything like that, because if you tick this and tick this, Google just wants you to spend more money on Google ads and it's gonna waste more money on your account and you're not gonna have any conversions or new leads coming away for your roofing business. And this is unnecessary for you guys, right? Because if we want new customers, we are already aiming for new customers only already and at the same time have repeat business. So leave this to ticked off. Once that's done, we're gonna hit the next button here. Awesome. So now we're in towards the campaign setting. So after spending $300,000 on Google ads for local businesses, whether it be roofing like your guys' self were here, we do not want to have search network or display network on. I've tested this before guys, it's really much pretty much the same thing what Google wants to do for you. So that way they can make you spend more money on Google ads and you're just wasting a ton of money. I highly recommend you guys turn these two off, very unnecessary and straight to the point for you guys that you want to be able to start creating Google ads and have the right conversions, have the right leads that want to work with you for your business. Now, this is gonna be the biggest and most crucial step for you guys. And I see a lot of roofing companies out there when they run ads, 
they are not entering their specific location. And this is the most crucial thing, guys. We're just not just targeting US. Unless you are a big roofing company and you're targeted all over the United States and 50 states, then yes, I would select this. But if you're a small company that is in only in California, maybe you're in the NorCal area, or maybe you're in Arizona as well too, in two states, right? Then I would only select enter another location. And the reason why we wanna do this is because we want to have a targeted location. So say for example, we want to make sure that your business is in the right area. So for example, we're gonna use service area for this company that they target in Santa Monica. So let's just say Santa Monica, California, right? And their radius is in towards in Malibu as well too. So this is targeting in Malibu. So they may be targeted in Inglewood, Culver City. Do we have that in the location? So what we're gonna do is all we're gonna do is just zoom in and make sure that they target that area, right? West LA, Hollywood, LA, Venice, so we're just gonna scroll in here, West Hollywood. They probably have Culver City, Manhattan, perfect, right? You can see here as well too, they have the right one. Hollywood, Marina Del Rey, do we have that there? El Segundo, Manhattan, Marina, perfect. So this is what we wanna target, having the specific location for your business. And let's just say for example, they do focus in you know, Colorado. Right, and but if we want to be more specific, maybe there's a city or a town that they want to go into, but let's just use Arizona. So let's just say that they, they target more focus in Gilbert, Arizona. And it's a 20, 20 mile radius here as well. So you can see this is where they would locate as well too. And that's how what I would make sure that we are specifically selecting a targeted location for your local business, for your roofing company, okay guys? And that's what I would do. So this, and always, I always like to think about this. Think about it in a customer's perspective when you do your radius here. How far is your customer willing to drive to you if you have an office location? Or if you're a roofing company, how far are you willing to drive to them, right? Are you willing to drive them you know, 10, 15 miles, 20 miles if you're a small company? You gotta keep that in mind for yourself as well too. That way, you, know, you don't wanna just select location and be very broad. You wanna select radius to be more dialed in and detailed as possible from here. Now, I'm just gonna remove Gilbert Arena, uh, Arizona in this purpose here since we only target Santa Monica and we're gonna press save. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is you're gonna see a location options here. The biggest thing here is a lot of people leave this on interest as well too, who've shown interest in your targeted location. I do not personally recommend this because we wanna target people who are actually in our target location only. And this is the biggest thing. So if someone was to Google search you and you know they're just traveling, maybe they're tourists or just flying in to visit some family and friends, but they saw your roofing company, it's gonna waste a click on your Google ads and waste money on your account which is unnecessary. We only want people who are serious and are actually high quality leads that are in your area. So I recommend selecting the presence. The second option here to have regularly in your target location, no interest at all, okay? Once that's done, we can leave the language as English unless you know you select the language you customer you speak. Maybe you speak Spanish, you speak you know Vietnamese, you speak Chinese or other languages as well too, bilingual. That way it helps your customers to you know see your business a lot more as well too. It just depends on you unless you only speak English. Once this is all done, everything you can leave as broad match here, leave as so, and we're on, gonna move on to the next section, guys. Now, we're on to the next stage here, guys. So this is where we're gonna go to the keywords ad and ads. And before we even add our keywords here, we want to make sure that we're actually doing our keyword search. And what I mean by that here, where what we're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate this campaign tab here, and we're gonna go to the Google Ads section. And the reason why we do this is gonna go back to the homepage, and this is important for us because we wanna do our Google Ads research. There's two ways how I like to do my keywords ad research here. So let's go back to the homepage here of Google Ads. 
So when we're here, I wanna make sure that when you guys are on the left-hand side, you'll see a tool section. You're gonna click on the keyword planner and press on discover new keywords here. The reason why this is important, this is how we're going to be doing our keyword research. So when I mentioned saying roofing company near me is one keyword that we've done research on. So let's just say for example, for this roofing company, you do residential roofing. So residential roofing near me, commercial roofing near me is another keyword. Let's just say you do, you know, roofing repair, repair near me. You also do the skylight, skylight installation. So skylight installation near me as well too. What we're going to do is then add and press get results here. We don't need to enter a website or anything like that. We want to add keywords to find our research. Then you're going to press get results. Perfect. So now, as you can see, we are getting our research words from what we put in from here initially. So you can see here, we're looking at our the competition level here. And what we can see is what is the lowest bid range for a cost per click and what is the highest bid range when someone has spends, you know, for a acquisition for a customer or a cost per click here. And what we want to look at for is competition, whether it be, you know, our search volume, whether it be medium low, but we're looking just really specifically keywords here. So as we can see, and I would recommend also using adding this AdWords wrapper.com. And the reason why this is important here is we're going to be using this to have specific word matches only. And the reason why this is important is because if you were to just leave your keywords like this, this is going to set yourself as a broad match. So when I mean by broad matches, so if someone was to search up roofing company, it could come up with other keywords like roof company job, maybe roof contractor, contractor jobs or roofing service jobs, all this stuff as well too. And it's going to waste your ad spend on those clicks when someone clicks on your website, when they really weren't just looking to get a repair when they were looking for a job. That's the biggest thing here. And I'm going to talk more about this once we do our research. So now we're going to do a research here. So, so for example, we see that skylight installation near me is a very low competition here has a $3.83 cost per click. Maybe we want to use this word. So what we're going to do is just enter those keyword in here as so. Then we're going to keep looking for words that are very cheap. Look, best roofing company near me, $8. Perfect. And let's just say, for example, we're going to look for other ones. Maybe you do gutter installers near me. There's another one as well too. Let's just move on to the next page and see what's option. Wow, look at this. Best roofers near me. We can add this as a keyword. Local roofing companies, or maybe we could do affordable roofers near me as another word. We can do metal roofing companies. Okay, so if you do metal roofing, so we can probably do that as well too. This is another keyword here. So I recommend adding between eight to 12 keywords here because when we do this and wrap our keywords, it's gonna give us about maybe 20 to 24 keywords that we can use for specific phrases and exact match what I mean by that. So maybe you have a roof leak. That's another keyword that people use as well too. So we're gonna add this here. And we can see low competition on cost per click. So let's just say here, roof restoration near me as another one. And let's just look for one more here as well too. And let's just do metal roofing contract, metal repair, metal roofer, ne roofers near me as another one. Right, so now that we have this, all we're gonna do is press the wrap keywords, boom. Now we don't have to waste all our time onto the Google ad campaign and, you know, paste keywords and how do we make sure it's a specific match, broad match or phrase match, all that stuff, right? We did it all done here as well. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure we select the phrase and exact match only. And now what we're going to do is press the copy here. You're going to copy this and then you're going to paste it here for your keywords. Boom. Perfect. Now that the keywords are done, now what we're gonna do is head onto the ad side and make sure that we have a display path. 
So what I like to do from here is before we even do any headlines or display path here, I like to go to go to I search from and Google search. And what I'm gonna do is click on here. We're gonna click onto I search from, add into the details. So let's just say, for example, we're focusing on the United States, English, and just let's just say the keyword that we used was best roofers near me. And we're just gonna add this into the keyword search. So this is how we're gonna look at other competitions from your local business, whether for the for the local business that are into the roofing side of things. And as we can see here, we can see all these roofing companies that have sponsored ads and we can look at them and spy on them what are they doing and how can we separate ourselves from them and make our company stand out better so you can see roofing contractor as their landing page link here near me roofing contractor so first thing first i would say roofing services very simple for that the company and your direct line here. So now for the headline, I wouldn't even do serving since here or Equilix, Economy Roofing, Skyline Online on-site service available. So now when we do our research, we're gonna look at the things. So we can say, okay, look, this is a really good word match right for the head. Best local roof company, I would make it better. I would say number one local best roofing company right there. And then let's just say making sure here that they do a maybe emergency service or since they ten year work and shift. So roofers out there. So maybe you want to say guarantee to your relief. We'll come and fix it. So we can say guarantee fix or let's just say instead of saying guarantee, maybe we could say something else here we could do we could even use some of these keywords here right maybe can we say affordable roofing service we can also do keywords such as let's just move on to finding another good keyword here best roof leak repair pair and so with these pins here this is where if you want to keep it to show in one position only what I mean by that let's just say for example you want to keep this as pin number one this is going to show the first one be first before it moves on to here maybe you want to show this in position two and then you can have this as randomized and see what custom tailors here and see what Google ads will work as well too. Google ads just does that. I like to have about four to five here, but let's just dive in and add some couple more here and see what kind of service they do. Maybe we can say, let's see. Same day service, let's just say they do that here. Let's just look at the services, residential roofing. Okay, maybe we can do same day service, call now. All right, something different right here. And maybe we can also say, if they have like a money back, for example, what, or like if your local business for your roofing company has a money back guarantee, let's just say you already maybe have a 24 seven emergency service, for example, 24 seven emergency service. Say roofing service right here as well. So we can put this as show in position three and then show this as unpin, right? As you can see here, that's what we want to leave it as. Now, what we're going to do is head on to the description side of things. So what I mean by the descriptions here, we're going to go back up to the sponsored ads. You can see what they say in the descriptions here. City roof contract here, trusted roofing. So five star customer review. So I would even do, you know, five star customer review here as well too. But the first thing I want to make sure that the stand out is having the crucial thing here. So. 
let's say for example the company you do is free quotes or free estimates call now right so let's just say call now for the fastest service available done and let's just say five star reviews and then here you could even say again you could be like number one local roofing number one best local roofing in Santa Monica Santa Monica right and then maybe you could say also have one that says as here and keep it there maybe you could also say serving in Ingle Beverly Hills or you could say local roofing in Beverly Hills right here and just let's make sure I spelled this correctly in Beverly Hills here Beverly so let's spell that right cool so now we added the description like so maybe we want to pin this as number one and then we want to pin this as number two and we can see that this is going to be the keywords that we have here so right here or maybe we don't want to do Beverly Hills we can do a show and end pinned you know we can say this as show and pin number two best one call now for the fastest service for the fast fastest service maybe direct and call to action here as a description as we can see just like that it will show the number one local best roofing company affordable roofing service number one best local roofing in Santa Monica call, call now for the fastest service right beautiful so now what we want to do is really make sure that you have your business name and logo here this is really straightforward you're just going to add your logo here in your business name and the thing is we're next step we're going to talk about is the site links here so what are the site links if i was to go back and doing the google ads here and we were looking at the ads you can see that we have the testimonials windows about us the warranty the contact contact us and the skylights, right? So this is what you're gonna see as the site links. So for example, if your website has a service, so maybe you have a service, whether it be commercial roofing, right? So this is a, this is, will be a site link where you would go to exactly. So since this one doesn't have one, let me just find a different company that does have one here. Maybe coastal roofing. So now we can say the service they provide no, they don't even have it here as well. Let me just Google do another Google search here. Maybe let's do. Website expert roofing company. Let's just do this one. OK, so maybe they don't have one here. Let's just find another one. Let's just do ABC construction roofing contractor. Perfect. So let's just use this for an example here. And let's say you have a you know roofing service. So you have service to provide commercial roofing, painting, replacement windows, roof inspection, coating, and all that stuff. Right. So this is where what we're going to do is we're going to create your site link now. So this is going to be the site link text here. So let's say for example you do roof coating. So what you're going to do is you're going to have roof coating. You don't really need a description here you can just have a final URL like I mentioned here so what we're gonna do is just copy paste the link and you know before you guys tell me and say you know you have the wrong link because you're doing this is just a test purpose to show you and walk you through step by step how to do this and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create that site link and attach to here move on and then you're gonna press onto the site link the next one here right so you can see here onto the preview it's gonna show this here hyperlink now let's say for example your four service that you provide may be really good you do roof repair roof repair you're going to have that onto the second one and then the third one let's just say for example you have roofing prices maybe you want to be transparent about that so with the next one it could be roofing prices 
same one here. And then the last one, let's just say you do um, commercial roofing, for example. I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna do commercial roofing and add that as the final URL there. As you can see, you can see all that into the Google Ads like this. It will show just like this here. If you have a guarantee, I recommend adding it here or even adding the reviews here if you guys do have one. Easier to show and quicker for your prospects and clients to click on you and see all about you, you know, when you build them that trust. Now, once that's done, all we're gonna do is press create and it should be done and you're gonna press save here. Perfect, you guys have all your links out here. So the next step is now we're gonna add a call out. This is what is gonna be very simple here. And so what a call out is, is basically it's gonna be very similar to like a description here, okay, when you run your Google Ads. So this could be very simple and straightforward. This could say something like, you know, call now for an estimate right you can see how right here call now for the best server call now for an estimate maybe you want to say um, for example the second keywords like for example we do it all roof we do maybe you could say um, with the service that they provide say for example you can do let's say roof repairs repairs it could be a call now to be like 24 7 emergency services roofing services service right here maybe you can also do call now for a free quote right keep it simple just like that and maybe that's what you want to do. 24 hour summer call now, to call now for a free quote, just like that. I'm just using this as an example, guys, how we would create it. You're gonna press save and then press apply. Maybe you don't want to add the, you know, add this. You can just select the emergency seven service, then you're gonna press apply. Once that's done, guys, it's really simple. We're on to the next stage now. We're gonna press and the next button here. Now we're gonna head on to the budgets here. What is going on here? So let me just fix this. So it looks like maybe just remove some of the two keywords here. Just gonna copy and recopy paste this again and make sure we hit the next button here. So here, this is where we wanna make sure that we are setting our ads budget now. And the biggest thing here is that we want to make sure that, you know, it all is all gonna depend on how much you're willing to spend, you know, per month, per week on your ads. So let's say, for example, if you do have like a budget of spending 2000 a month, obviously it will not spend $2,000 a month. Like I mentioned in the beginning of our, the video here, as we are doing maximized conversions, but since you guys don't have data into your new Google ads account, what we're going to do is change some things here. So what I mean by that is what we want to do is just set a custom budget. Let's just say, for example, you do have a $2,000 budget. And if I was to divide 2000 divided by 30 days, it's an equivalent to $67 for an average dollar budget, right? It's about to spend $500. And let's just say that's what we want to do and spend how much to acquire new leads. So depending on the cost per click per lead, it could be $3 a day to get one new lead and you could be getting 12 leads in a single day, right? Or even more. So now once that's done, very simple, never do the recommended option. Don't trust Google. Google just wants to spend more on your money from here, right guys? So once that's done, let's just do $66 a day from here. 67, the average right here. Then we're gonna press next. All right guys, so now once your campaign is ready to publish, all we're gonna do is hit publish campaign. So now that we published the campaign, obviously I don't wanna be running this ads here. So I'm gonna make sure I pause the campaign first here as well too. So all we're gonna do is just press the pause button here. Okay, and it won't spend any ads. But when you guys are running the campaign, the other things that we wanna make sure and do is have our keywords, right? And what I mean by that is when we're going to our keywords here, or I mean our campaigns here, we're gonna see it to our ads and then we are going to find our keywords here. And we want what we wanna do 
is when we're doing our search keywords, you could see here phrase match and exact match. We also also want to change this as well. And the reason why I say this is this is important is because you want to have your audience selection, right? So let's say, for example, you could be advertising to the age groups, especially with roofing companies. Maybe you don't have homeowners that are 18 to 24. You can remove that. Maybe they are. It just really depends on your demographics here, right? That's the biggest thing. Or let's say, for example, you know, when someone clicks on your ad, maybe you don't have emergency services or maybe, you know, a lot of your business isn't running on the week on, you know, let's say on Monday or Tuesday and nobody clicks on your ads between from 8 a.m. to 12, but they click from 3 p.m. 3 p.m. to all the way till 9 p.m. Then you want to adjust your clicks and your schedule time at the ad schedule here, which you can do. And you know whether it be selecting your options here as well too like so so that way it makes it easier for you guys as well and then you know really the next steps is making sure you do all these audits that way it helps you and find optimize your ad keywords for your roofing business but that was that's what basically I would do and how I'd, I would run your roofing ad company ad keywords for your Google Ads for you guys but I hope this gives you guys a lot of value especially walking you through step by step and showing you how to do everything from zero to hero and getting you from zero to 10 15k a month for your roofing business right so I make sure to like this video, leave a comment if you guys have any questions. I'll make sure to answer them and all of them above and make sure to subscribe to this video and hope you guys like this so that way I can keep producing more content like this, guys. Thank you so much.